fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's proof of concept video, I'm showing you how to emulate or create your own NES Classic using a Raspberry Pi 3, but the method or idea would be the same for a Raspberry Pi 2, a 1, or maybe the Raspberry Pi 0. So, here's my Raspberry Pi 3. What I got set up basically is it's running RetroPie. It's got a micro SD card, 32 gigabytes, and then I have my power cable, HDMI, and I also have this nifty USB adapter to run the original NES controller. It's really awesome, taking it back old school style. So let me turn this on, plug it into the wall real quick, and show you proof of this working. And when all was said and done, it took me about maybe half an hour to get everything that I wanted to do. So if you guys think that would be a good tutorial, please leave a comment on the YouTube page and we'll go from there. So Nintendo discontinued NES Classic recently. I got some friends, some relatives. They sort of disappointed in that. So I said, hey, let me show you how this works. And they really loved it. So um, I might make a tutorial series regardless. We'll see what happens here. So this is the Raspberry Pi 3. It's booting up. And here I got some random, oh, that's pretty cool, I, uh, RetroPie images. So every time I reboot, it'll have a different splash image. So that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this animation one before. But momentarily, we'll go into Emulation Station, and we'll see the different emulators. Right now, what I've done is I only have NES, and I want to, quote-unquote, recreate the NES Classic experience. So here under Nintendo, I have 30 games just like the original NES Classic. So you got Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble. All these other games, as you notice on the right hand side here, we have cover art. We have like descriptions here. So it's pretty cool. And this is just one skin. So if I want to change the skin, you'll see how it looks like. So let me uh, select um, menu here, UI settings, and let's change the skin. So you guys have an idea of what that looks like. Let's do the original carbon. And we'll see that, hey, it looks a little bit different here. So let me try a different skin real quick. And there's like tons of skins that you can go ahead and download, and we'll save that for a future tutorial. Um, let's try, I don't know, this one. I haven't tried this before. See? So everything is a little bit different, right? So you can customize it um, pretty well. And it's once you get the RetroPie image installed, once you copy your game ROMs over, you, have, you can do like this internal scraping here. And it's pretty cool. And like I said, it doesn't really take that much time. It's just getting all the right tools together. So what's nice about this is, let's say I'm playing Super Mario Bros. 3, you have your built-in save states. You can save your game. You can load a game, a save state. So here's Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3. So let's say that I didn't want to play through the whole game again. Let me turn the volume up a little bit up, guys. So here, if I press Select, I can go to, like, Quick Menu, and I can go to Load a Save State. And here I am, like near the last level. And I've done some tweaking here to get like, to minimize the input lag on NES, uh, sorry, on Raspberry Pi 3. So I maybe mean, I'll talk about that in a future tutorial, but it's a lot of fun, you know? And with the Raspberry Pi and with the RetroPie and Emulation Station, all that kind of stuff, you can emulate other systems too. It's not just Nintendo. You can do Super Nintendo, Sega, um, Dreamcast and um, a whole bunch of other emulators as well. But for purposes of this proof of concept, I just want to show you that, hey, if you're looking for an alternative to NES Classic, if you don't want to pay like 300 bucks to go get it, maybe consider like a Raspberry Pi 3 and make your own in-house solution. And granted, this is just 30 games here, but uh, you could definitely get more or less depending on what you want to do. So that's today's quick proof of concept video. If you guys think this would be a good tutorial series to do, let me know, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. So... Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.